Okay. I think I've just about worked up the guts to uh, talk about this. This video is going to be quite a lot different than any other video of mine that you've ever watched. Um, a lot of my videos are um, positive and enthusiastic and basically just an overall good feeling about life. Uh, something that uh, something that none of you ever get to see is whenever things are negative. And I have been putting off doing this video for probably over a year. Uh, this is, is a, a, an issue that has been coming and going with me throughout the, this YouTube venture. And I'm going to try really hard not to screw this up because I don't want to edit this video. Um, so as many of you know, um, I started out basically just as a small repair shop doing walk-in business and just a standard screen repair business. And I'm going to run, jump through this pretty quickly, but um, I don't. Even, I, I really don't even know how I'm going to record this. Um, it's 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 not bad. I mean, I'm I'm doing good over here, guys. But there's just some things that I really, really, really need to get off my chest. And you know that feeling whenever you've got something that you got to tell somebody and you don't really want to tell them but it keeps nagging at you and um, it just it, it drives you insane well that that's that's sort of what I got going on over here I don't know how I want to explain this but I know that I need to explain this or um, it, it's gonna drive me nuts now um, so anyways as this venture has progressed I have went through being um, largely a local IT company that serviced uh, business networks and I did a lot of uh, work in the retail environment, all of the back-end IT stuff, and um, when we opened up our shop in Farmington, that slowly transitioned into being, um, I, I started doing screen repairs, and like, well, I really like fixing phones, so we started fixing the heck out of phones, and then I bumped into Lewis Rossman's channel, I'm like, whoa, this guy's fixing the circuit boards, and I, I've always enjoyed electronics, and I've got a pretty good understanding about how electricity works he's doing this under a microscope and I was just like blown away so I got a microscope and I started micro soldering and then it's like wow he's getting quite a bit going on on YouTube so um, so I really started to look up to him and I started putting my own videos online and it was really cool I'm showing people what's going on and well at some point in time I fix it, put their eyes on me, and myself along with a few other companies, and it just really, really, really boosted our boosted our YouTube channels out into the outside world. I think I got people showing up here, which is going to make this even more hard, but I got the door closed. Um, so it, it really, really, really boosted all of us into the outside world, and it's over time for me, this channel has been growing and growing and growing, and I, I love my YouTube channel, um, but... So, I think I skipped a huge step. What it's caused is I've started getting more and more and more mail-ins, and then eventually at our old shop in Farmington, I wound up completely piling the front counter full of packages every day, stuff that was showing up to get repaired. So I had to make adjustments in my system to where these people had to get approval IDs and stuff before sending them because I was just getting all this stuff dumped on me. And... Um, most of that traffic was coming from business advertisements. It was coming from like Forbes magazine. It was coming from, um, it was coming from other places outside of YouTube that people were reading about SCS. And you know that was a lot of touch repairs. It also brought in a lot of backlight stuff and a lot of first-hand repairs. Now, as time has went on throughout the year, I guess of 2017. Toward the end of 2017, um, you know, touch repairs are tapering off and so are much of my routine repairs and see what's happened throughout 2017 my channel has grown a lot so the majority of the stuff that I have coming in as the channel grows I'm getting more and more and more stuff that's coming in from YouTube and not from outside advertisements so over the past year and a half or oh gosh it's the end of it's the end of just, 2018 already holy cow where's this year went so over the past two years I have went from this huge swell in mail-in volume that hasn't dropped off like I'm still getting completely totally buried in repairs I got so much stuff I, I can't see straight but what's changing is the type of repairs that I'm getting um, they are 
largely all pre-screwed with. I mean, I, I'm probably looking at 75% all prior repair attempts. And, you know, throughout 2016, I, I published a lot of witty content where I was, you know, really cracking down on the prior repair attempts and stuff. But the reality is where I'm getting my customers is, is where I'm getting my customers. So no matter how much I choose to dog prior repair attempts, a lot of my customers, they don't speak English. Um, and some of them don't care. It, it, it's just, um, I'm not going to talk a whole lot more about that, but the the point that I'm trying to get across here is that my customer base is YouTube and most of the people watching my videos on YouTube are watching them because they're trying to do some of this stuff so I've got 95 or so devices in queue and 75 percent of those are really 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 screwed up problems so here I am it's about 10:45 in the morning on a Monday and I've got a, a couple of repair videos that I'm getting ready to post. One of them's about half done editing. And um, I've got things that I would really like to do to help this YouTube channel progress. But in order for me to keep my family fed and keep moving life in a positive direction financially, I have to work my butt off. And it's almost noon on Monday. The first, I, over the weekend, I sat aside, you know, I grouped together things that I knew was going to pay the bills for Monday. <laughs> um, well, okay, I shouldn't say it like that, but I went through my rows of stuff and I'm coming up with all of the devices that are genuine good customers and things that aren't going to be absolute nightmare rabbit holes. And I start going through them. And I've been sitting here half the day now, and I have not gotten anything done at all. And I don't really know. I don't even know if I'm going to post this. But the point that I'm get, trying to get across is that I'm still doing good financially. I mean, we're still cranking away at, at livable wages. By making this big move that we made, I've actually saved $1,000 a month in living expenses. So nobody can blame that on any sort of issues. Um, so we're still making it financially, but I'm running into this bind where I'm sort of stuck in a hard spot. I'm needing to get stuff done from done with YouTube. I'm needing to post stuff on YouTube because that's a big part of my life now. I, I, I love it. But I've got, I don't know, like this is just, this is just my immediate queue, okay? And my bottom shelf, that's waiting for payment. The next shelf up, that's rabbit holes. Uh, the next shelf up, that's rabbit holes. The next shelf up, that's rabbit holes. And then the very top shelf, that's my viable queue. So as you can see, I'm starting to get stuck into a, a pretty hard spot here. I mean, a lot of this stuff I can figure out and a lot of this stuff I will figure out. But the vast majority of the stuff that's getting piled on me is stuff that is just really screwed up and even if it does wind up being a no fix so if somebody ships me let's see this last I already put it back together I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go there but this phone that I just buttoned up is completely totally corroded from top to bottom which that's not a big deal you know I recover data recovery all the time from phones that look awful what is a big deal is that whenever I I take the time to take the board out of it and I flip it over and I'm seeing that ICs are sideways, things are smashed, balls popping out of the Wi-Fi IC, one little ball coming out next to the PMIC, and can't det really detect any shorts, but for some reason, PP1V8 is only putting out a volt. Okay, probably the PMIC, maybe, but with all this other stuff wrong, like, what kind of time am I gambling away to deal with that? And it's not just this one, I mean, it's one after the other, after the other, after the other, after the other. Um, I mean, I really like what I do, but I don't think there's anybody on the face of the planet that would endure this sort of repeat type of job without starting to get a little bit burned out. And, you know, this has been going on, it, it getting a little worse and worse, and I, I've been dealing with it, and I can continue to deal with it because I'm good at what I do. I can take this pile of crap and manage to turn that into enough revenue to continue to feed my family, but it's excruciatingly time consuming and um, it's making it difficult to spend time doing what I love and putting stuff toward YouTube. And furthermore, 
I'm a really kind-hearted person. When somebody sends me a, an iPod, that I got an iPod sitting here that I'm going to do, and I, I might do a video on it, I don't know. Um, it's not... Some of this stuff, I really feel for the people that are sending it here because many of them are honest and they're reaching out to me for help and I might run out of disk space. Okay, if I clip this video, it's because I ran out of disk space. I'm going to clip it anyway. Hang on a second, guys. Okay, I freed up 20, 20 gig on that drive. Um, where was I at? Oh, um, a lot of the people that are sending stuff here, they're they're really really counting on me to help and a lot of them I would really like to help because back during the walk-in days it wasn't it wasn't entirely about money you know people would bring stuff in all the time and I would do it for free and you know I would or do something at a at a rate that was worth it for the device and uh, do things for people that made me really really feel good and with what I'm running into here uh, I'm I'm faced with an imbalance and uh, the imbalance is starting to make me a, a little bit bitter. So for some of these people where I've just got to say no to, it it, it really sucks because some of them I want to help, but I'm faced with such a mountain of crap to try to make money off of that it's, it's difficult to take on um, a, a smaller job that is going to take quite a bit more work but not pay quite as much money. So I'm not really sure... Guys, I'm really not sure where I'm going with this, and I don't even know that I'm going to post this because, on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm still, I'm still a really happy person, and um, I'm still supporting my family, and things are still rolling along. But um, more and more and more often, I sit down in this chair and I'll line up a, a stack of stuff here that's in queue to work on, and it's just one after another, after another, after another. Um, there are literally hundreds of you um, repair shops that are trying to do this stuff on your own and reaching out to me for help and I just I, I, I can't and some of you are friends and you'll be working on something and it's the customer's phone that you really really need help with because you were messing with the audio I see and now it won't boot um, you know not mentioning any names or anything <laughs> um, it's not that I don't want to help you or, or that I don't think your device isn't worth the time. It's that I am stuck with, I'm, I'm backed into a hard spot. I'm like, YouTube is literally backing me into a corner of stuff that I can't realistically fix and, and feed my family. So, um, guys, that is the absolute reality of where I'm sitting right now. I'm still going to continue producing repair videos. I'm still going to continue to do this. Uh, but some of you have noticed, I've had a couple of you mention it, you know, in the comments and stuff that your new videos aren't quite like the old ones were. Well, my old ones were a lot more enthusiastic and um, I've got all these big time future plans of YouTube and um, I've got all these things that I want to do. Uh, you know, I've, I've, I want to do uh, some videos on basic electricity and stuff. I ran a poll on that and there was like over a thousand of you that said yes. That makes me feel awesome. And this is stuff that I really, really want to do, but I've also got to continue to feed my family. And I've got such an imbalance here where what the videos are bringing in as far as ad revenue, Amazon link clicks, um, what that is bringing in monthly compared to what, what I'm getting from repair. And the two of those combined to support my family and also continue, you know, I've always talked about continue to put a, a little bit of money aside to keep yourself happy. Um, between all of these things, when I say a little bit, that's a heck of a lot less than what it was whenever I said that. Trust me. Um, so all of these things combined are making it very difficult to put the amount of time that I deeply in my heart want to into YouTube. Um, like, I just, I, I, I want to be able to do that, but I'm in such a bind to where... I'm not having a lot of time free to do that. Um, I, I've got to get this stuff moving. It's not just it's not just the financial side of it. Is that each one of these baskets has a soul attached to it? You know, it's it's a human being. It's a repair shop. Some of them have a stack of boards in them, and um, it's all people that want to hear from me. And it's you know that 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 takes priority. But each and every one of them, 
even if it's something that I can't fix, I still have to spend a ton of time with it to reach that conclusion because I have a heart. I can't just look at it and say, oh, that looks like it's going to be a pain in the ass and no fix it. I've got to sit here and find time to decide whether or not I, I can fix it. So, yeah, um, backed into a hard spot. Now, okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that. I don't want to say a whole lot more because, because this is really hard for me. Um, it's hard for me to admit that um, things are a lot more difficult now, and I can assure you it has nothing to do with our move. This is like one of the best things that I could have ever done. Um, we really cut our expenses back by a lot, believe it or not, but that's um, that's thanks to family. Uh, but uh, all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and cut this short. The one last thing I'm going to put at the end of this video, because if you're still watching this video at this point, you might actually care what I'm going to put at the end of this video. Um, a while back I announced that I had started a Patreon account and I faced some criticism about, criticism about that and I totally get it. Most of the people watching this channel, you're watching this channel because you're trying to figure out how to support your family and I completely, totally respect that. But in a serious effort to try to um, fix this huge imbalance I've got with what's coming from video compared to what's coming from repair, compared to what types of repairs the videos are bringing in. Um, a while back I set up a Patreon account and I sort of half-heartedly launched it to my Facebook page and I kind of put it in my community, uh, my whatever you call it on YouTube where you post um, a picture or a link or a poll or something, what, what, what's it called? Anyways, I put it on there like half-heartedly but I got a really, really, really pitiful response and I completely understand why but I just really need to explain why it is that I would do such a thing you know I've got all these followers that are thinking that I'm just living high on the hog well I'm not this YouTube channel is is backing me into an hard spot so in an effort to um, offset the balance between what's coming in from YouTube compared to repairs um, that's why I set up that account and I wound up deleting the posts where I told everybody I had a patreon account because um, I have to find other ways to draw money from YouTube in order to be able to continue doing exactly what I'm doing um, comfortably. I mean, I'm, I'm going to continue to do it anyways, but uh, it's it's really starting to burn me out. I mean, I could sit here. I'm not going to because I'm um, I'm needing to make money, but I could sit here and pull basket after basket after basket after basket of just so much stuff so if what I'm saying here does not apply to you if you're a customer that um, routinely sends good stuff I've got a lot of good customers from the bottom of my heart thank you I really appreciate all of you um, but uh, I'm fiddling with my mic cable that's gonna be bad the majority of the stuff that I have coming in is just uh, it's no good and can fix it yeah it takes me forever days and days and days and you know, just there's going to be stuff that I wished I said in this video, but um, I'm going to keep this as short as I can. It's already a bunch of rambling, and I know people don't like rambling. It's, um, so yeah, I like posting enthusiastic things. I'm going to continue to post enthusiastic things because I am routinely enthusiastic, but every day... That I run into a day like this it's like I've got all these people calling me they're 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 sending emails and texting and they want me to bail them out of jams and it's like I did this 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 and this and now it's doing that and it's like you know I, I, I've got a heart sometimes I'd, I'd like to be able to help but um, when the majority of what I have coming in is that type of stuff I've got to make some changes so um, let's see lighting's I think my camera changed at some point in time through this so there you go guys there's a somewhat negative video from Jason I promise you my next video will be positive um, but it'll take me just a little bit to get it posted so um, thanks for all of you who support the channel uh, thanks for watching everybody I put a link to my patreon account below and I'm gonna start putting that at the end of every video because um, I would like to build my YouTube channel I'd like to be able to afford to buy equipment and um, have it sort of support itself my business supports itself 
I feel like I should be able to get the YouTube channel to support itself too. So thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you next time.